Almost 2 million people work at sea. The discussion about renewable energy in the maritime industry mainly focuses on the ship's efficiency and effectiveness as well as costs. It often neglects to consider the people who work on board the ships, the seafarers. The seafarers shouldn't have to pay the price for us to achieve net zero. Obviously, we want renewable fuels. It is essential to make sure that those who are working on board of the ships and engaging with the new fuels are adequately trained and protected, ensuring that they're safe. The Seafarers Charity funds a network of support organizations who directly assist seafarers globally. The information that they receive in providing that assistance we use and feed back to policymakers to make sure that nobody's left behind. It is important for seafarers to feel safe, so we fund Chirp Maritime, which offers a confidential reporting service. If anyone in the maritime industry has a safety concern, they can contact Chirp for assistance. Compared to existing marine fuels, renewable fuels such as methane, hydrogen and ammonia, they're all potentially much more hazardous. And the speed of integration into the mainstream industry is incredibly ambitious. Without a strong reporting, sharing and learning culture across our industry, lessons often learned the hard way from incidents are going to be duplicated and that means that we're going to be hurting people, damaging equipment and potentially the environment unnecessarily. You know, many people are afraid to report for fear of rejection, ridicule, reprisals or redundancy. By reporting your experiences, your concerns to CHIRP, we can help the industry learn from your experience while protecting your identity. This includes liaising with regulators to affect change in the long term. The Seafarers Charity is inclusive. We support everyone who has worked or is currently working at sea regardless of their profession. This includes 38 million fishers. So Ports and Safety are a not-for-profit membership organisation and it's quite unusual for us to get funding from a charity. But the difference that the Seafarers Charity has made to us is that it's enabled us to take a lot of the knowledge that we have about safe practices in ports and apply them to the fishing sector. So Port Skills and Safety has what we call safety and ports guidance and this is a range of minimum standards and best practice on how to undertake port operations. And they tend to focus on areas such as container ships or general cargoes. And what we've been able to do with this funding is take what we know about making ports safer and apply it to fishing ports and making sure that the standards that ports set for their other cargoes and other terminals, they apply to fishers as well to make sure that fishers are as safe as they possibly can be when they're working in ports. We are at a crossroads in the maritime industry with regards to renewable fuels. A decision really needs to be made. We need somebody who is bold, willing to invest, take the initiative into the fuel to be used. We need that early adoption with regards to the fuel, the best fuel that will allow for the safety of the seafarer not to be neglected. Once that decision has been made, it allows for the industry to focus on the safety training. This is why the Seafarers Charity partners with the industry. We need you to join with us so that we can make sure the seafarers have safer and better working lives at sea.